first of all evening star formation this kind of formation is often seen before a crash is uh, impending evening star formation the pattern was seen after an uptrend so we may expect that an impending sell is so we have an impending sell you can see how to trade this pattern let me take a short position sell trade as soon as the evening star pattern formation is complete i will enter a sell trade i will take my sl and keep the sl 2 3 pips above the this doji evening star so it's a doji evening star i'll keep one or two pips above okay now how much is my risk guys it's like uh, 200 pips right so at least my tp should be 400 pips 16 16 uh, 1696 i think i i will at least have a one is to two risk to reward ratio okay 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 so let's see evening star pattern formation soon after a significant uptrend let's see one by one everything okay so i have entered a sell trade one is to two it took few days time my trade is still going on and bam my tp got hit okay so you just see how many trade we will win while this uh, these things were going on by the way we have uh, another evening star pattern so another second trade can be taken as well let me show you few pips above 2 3 pips above you can see guys uh, why i am uh, talking about this 2 3 pips let me show you one thing one thing you will see you know so many people uh, will place their sl just at this this point or one or one pip let's say above this you see we have a wick that have eaten the sl which were pending above the above two three pips above this doji candle so this is most often uh, this kind of things happen because institutions can smell they can see your trades we do not have much data about them but they have uh, every data with them to find out where the retail traders are placing their sl so few retail traders will place their sl either here or here and you can see after uh, few candles one big candle form and it turn away the sl so you have to make sure that even though your position size is reducing even though your uh, risk to reward ratio you have to enhance but you have to keep your sl bit away from the general public okay so let's widen our sl now let me take 1 is to 2 now i am risking how much i am risking like 190 pips so i will take the tps 380 pips so 1 is to 2 1 is to 2 1 is to 2 1 is to 2 so another trade another trade in rkt another win okay now now i let me just reduce it while all this was going on while all this was going on and i am a tws student i saw the formation of a shooting star and this tangaru tail will i enter the trade all of a sudden no why the reason being because the kangaroo tail form that's a real cool thing but just a second just a second if i were you i won't trade all of a sudden i tell you the reason why you see there was an uptrend right the horse was running like crazy got tired is now resting is now resting but the closing price of this kangaroo tail this shooting star or whatever you call it inverted hammer or whatsoever name doesn't matters it's all about making money okay this happened inside the consolidation zone so what confirmation now i need is i want the prices to close outside the consolidation zone as well for me to enter my sell trade so let me wait for the future price action so here i can see that the price basically closed outside the consolidation zone but let me just tweak the consolidation zone to have more confirmation now let me see no 
it could not close outside. Why? Because I have tweaked the consolidation zone and I am still of the view that the prices are still lying inside the consolidation zone. So no, I won't take another trade. So guys, just remember, we have been like 380 pips here and I think uh, 400 pips here, okay? So that's like, uh, someone do the calculation please for me so that I my time can be saved. So we have like 400 pips from this trade and 380 from this uh, trade. So we have like 780 pips, okay? Just let me wait a bit more. And here, here the price actually closed outside the consolidation zone and I have my kangaroo tail as well. Not mine, it's a kangaroo's tail, <laughs> okay? Now I can enter a short trade because there are two things got activated. One, one thing is that we had a kangaroo tail. Second thing is that we have a range breakdown. But is this range breakdown is very powerful? Let me ask you, tell me in yes or no. Does this range breakdown seems uh, very powerful or seems weak? Everyone tell me. Correct, Helena, correct. Sanat Bharati is correct. Hafiz is correct, Shah is correct. May I know the reason why it's weak? Why we are not? too crazy about a sell trade. I'm entering a sell trade. I'm entering, yes, I'm entering. But it's really not a very powerful, but I want to know why. Small candle? A rejection from downside. Yes, rejection from the downside. And you see the structure of the candle. You just see the structure of the candle. Do you think it's a powerful sell candle? If it were a powerful sell candle, what is the characteristic of a powerful sell candle? Everyone tell me. How to know powerful? Long body. Sell? Long body. And a small week. Correct. But one more point small is there. Week. Nitin, one more point is there. I'll tell you. Just let's small, small, small week with long body. Okay. Full body, small week. Correct. One more thing is there. Hafiz and Nitin, I'm waiting. Anyone to tell that? Long body, lower highs, higher low. Okay, cool. Small wick. Good. That point is covered. Exactly. Helena is correct. Very good, Helena. Guys, it really, really, really matters where the close price is compared to the low of the candle. The more the low and close is near to each other, the more a bigger crash will be seen. So you can see that uh, it's a type of a it's a very strange candle, basically, not a complete doji, not a full sell candle. But anyways, I'm entering my sell trade. What I'm doing, guys, is that I'm just, uh, I'm keeping my SL bit wide. This is the candle, two, three pips here, okay? Now, let me uh, try 1.5 in this trade. I'm not very sure of uh, one is to two, okay? Though I suggest if you were at my place, you should avoid this trade, okay? You should avoid this trade. So 1.5, I'll take 1.5. I'm not taking two, okay? Let's be very realistic. Let's consider it as a recent price action. Okay, so this trade also we have one. How many pips we got? Uh, 25 and 12, 370. Can someone please add 370 in the previous 780? I think we have one like thousand pips by now, okay? Okay, now next thing, another trade. I, I will also keep telling you the logic of me uh, considering them as a trade. I will also tell you guys what particular strategy of TWS course is being activated, okay? Just a second. So a significant downtrend is going on. Significant downtrend is going on, okay? Then all of a sudden we saw this kind of a profit booking candle or a pause candle. You can say a pause, a small break before the next leg of move start. Another small doji candle, another small doji candle, okay. Now, one thing is very clear to me that the after a huge crash, it's a huge crash. If you see in terms of the dollars we have made, it's really a huge crash, okay. It's a four hours time frame, not a five minutes. So, you can see that a consolidation is going on. So make a box of consolidation. This is what I do. So I'll tell you every single thing, how I look at things. Now my question to all of you is, what will be my next course of action? Am I going to take a sell trade or am I going to take a buy trade? Everyone tell me, sell or buy? 
Yes, Shaz, exactly. That's what I said. You should have avoided that trade. May I know anyone? Should I buy now or I sell now? Guys, uh, make sure you are not saying Nitin. buy because you have already seen the future candles. <laughs> Nitin. Yes, Nitin. Wait, wait for price reaction, price section, sir. Uh, okay, what exactly price should act for me to act? Uh, so breakout, sir. We have to see the breakout candle where the candle is moving on, uh, either upside or downside. Then only we can decide where, which side we have to go. Perfect. Exactly. So Nitin has said it absolutely correct. Guys, consolidation is not in your hand. Consolidation is not in my hand. What is happening basically? The institutions are placing so small orders that they do not get caught right handed that what kind of uh, positions they are creating. Now, uh, you guys may have seen my recent YouTube video. I said that our problem is lack of money. Their problem is lot of money. When we take a trade, we want everyone to know that we have taken a trade, right? <laughs> but when they take a trade, they try their best that no one will ever know that they are placing trade. So they are placing their orders. Do Siddhant Goswami know that they are placing buy or sell? No way. None of uh, retail trader know uh, actually what they are doing. Even if you place a volume profile, market profile, you cannot say with certainty that you may find that they are placing order, but whether they are placing a buy order or sell order, not even the volume profile indicator can tell you. You only know that they are doing something, but are they selling? Are they buying? We don't know. You are TWS student. I have already told you the concept of uh, the pressure build up during the ranges and the bust of that pressure to the one side. Which side? Whatever side. We are here to make money. Whatever side. Nitin has said it correctly. We will wait for the price action. Price has to act in terms of breakout or the breakdown, either to break out to the upside or to the breakdown. So we as TWS students, we are waiting for the price action to complete. Bam, you see this candle. Now I ask question to all of you. Were institutions placing the buy orders or were institutions placing the sell order in gold? After this candle formation. So guys, what do you think institutions were doing? Buying, exactly. Correct, Malay, very good. They were buying. If they were not buying, this kind of a very big range a strong bull candle close price is absolutely the same as the high of the candle just let us check the high and close of this candle so high of this candle is 1712.46 uh, or zero whatever you guys say some people call it not i think in western countries and uh, the close of this candle is 1712.026 so almost the same the same concept that Helena said. That really, really matters. Always remember, I always look at this thing. How equal is uh, high and close for long trade and, uh, high, and how much the close price and the low of the candle is equal to each other. If there is pressure from the opposite side, I kind of avoid. I kind of avoid that. Okay. Okay, my question is, my question now is, what you guys will do in gold now, soon after this candle? A good retracement and then buy. Uh, okay. Nitin, what if there is no retracement after this kind of candle? Often retracement is very small. I'm not, I, I'm not sure. I've not seen the future candle. I do not remember it. <laughs> I also. <laughs> <laughs> guys, what to do? Buy? One thing is very no, sir, sure. Directly. Yeah, directly we can go. Nitin, one thing is very sure. We have to buy. There is no way we sell because after consolidation, it should have break down, but it has shown a breakout with such a huge candle. It means in the days to come, in the weeks to come, the gold will go up. That is my assumption. I may be, I may be wrong. So let's check. Just see guys. As said, what happened to the gold after this kind of big candle? Who remembers my institutional candle concept? Let's try it. This webinar is going to be very important. I want all of you to at least watch once more, okay? I'm very sure you are loving this webinar and I'm very glad that, uh, 
Okay, so I'll place the SL in the mid of the consolidation zone. I said in the YouTube video that a uh, few pips below. So we are few pips below and we are also in the mid of the consolidation zone. And I'm setting my TP as uh, one is to two. Because uh, I don't know how many pips, thousand, two thousand, five thousand. I do not know how much will go. I'm setting one is to two. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Uh, one more thing I tell you because this webinar is about me sharing uh, the new experiential knowledge that I have. Uh, guys, once this kind of a very big red candle forms, once this kind of a very big uh, uh, green or red candle forms, retracement is very, very small. If you place the FIBO level, you will hardly see the retracement to the 23.2 level. Let us place the retracement tool, okay? FIBO level. You see, the price has almost reversed from 23.6, I think, that level. I do not place that level because I, uh, it depends, it depends. If the trend is very strong, then 23.6. If, uh, if the trend is strong, then 38.2. If trend is very strong, then direct up or this uh, 23.6, I think. If trend is uh, strong, then 38.2. If trend is good enough, then 50 or 61.8, okay? Just remember my rule. This webinar is really, really important. So let me just uh, remove the FIBO level, okay? So institutional candle, you can see it worked and basically the prices went, let me see how much up. If I just drag it more, so it's like almost one is to three list to reward ratio, but for the safer side, one is to two because we do not know what could happen later, right? So just place uh, one is to two. Some of you uh, showed me a few trades uh, and you said that long candle is not working. It depends, uh, long candle is forming when. For example, there is a significant uptrend. All of a sudden, all of a sudden you see a big red candle. That is what I mean with the institutional candle, okay? And vice versa, a strong downtrend. Then all of a sudden you see a very big green candle. The same thing that we are seeing here. The same thing, significant downtrend. All of a sudden a very big, very big institutional candle with the close price almost equals to the high of the candle. Okay, so one is to two, just set it up and relax and let the trade uh, run on its own. If you want to trail, if some of you will say, oh, should we trail? So then this is how you can trail. Trade is going on. So once a retracement, pull back, place below this retracement. So guys, uh, just soon uh, below this uh, pull back and price again up. So this is how you can just keep trailing your SL as well, okay? Anyways, I move forward and uh, I show you, can someone uh, calculate the pips? How many pips we have taken? 580 pips. Can someone please add 580 to the calculation? Someone is doing that, please. We are left with 20 people out of uh, 30 people because actually most of the people know that I will place the recording. <laughs> they will be amazed when I say recording will not be placed. <laughs> okay, so let's move forward and let, let's see how many of uh, TWS strategies are uh, activating. Okay, let's move forward in time. Let's move forward in time. Okay, just let me remove all this so that they it so that they do not confuse us. Okay, all set, all set, all set. Another strategy is working, guys. I show you. I show you. First of all, the trade is going on in the institutional candle. You can just uh, mark the trend line. Just let me see. This would be a more good a trend line. We can just fine tune it. We can just fine tune it. Just a second. We can simply fine tune it. Okay. So you can see that we get like almost how many? 
Okay, yeah, I will also tell you this uh, risk to reward things. Okay, so guys, here we got our one is to two already. Yeah, not yet. So trade is going on. Just let it run. Okay, now another sell trade got activated with the trend line breakdown method, the strategy which uh, all of you already know. So we have entered a trade. We will keep our SL few pips above the wick of the breakdown candle. And you all know that most of the time, at least 70% of the time after a breakdown of the trend line, there is a retesting. If the trend is strong, there is no retesting and sudden crash, bam, very big crashes often seen, okay? So this is how you can uh, set up trend line breakdown strategy got activated here. I'm sure you guys uh, can see the things clearly. I just don't want to remove this previous trade now, okay? And uh, let me just place a risk to reward ratio of one is to one. Uh, why I'm saying one is to one? Because guys, the gold is in a strong uptrend. You have to also keep eyes on a bigger time frame as well. The gold is running in a very strong uptrend. So we have to make sure that in a sell trade, we do not go for one is to two. So if you place one is to two, it may not hit. I don't know. I have not seen the future yet. So let's let's check it. Let's see. One is to two won't work. One is to one. One is to one point five is okay. See, because uh, the overall major trend with gold is uh, uptrend. So you cannot just go for one is to two. Okay. So you see. So we got how many pips here? Just let me check. One hundred twenty pips. Can someone please add one hundred twenty pips? Guys, uh, if someone is doing that for me, let me know. Or else I will. Uh, I will not be knowing how many pips we got. Okay, Helena, you're doing it. Thank you so much, Helena. I think Shah is also doing it. Uh, okay, uh, let's move forward in time. Let's move forward in time. Another strategy of uh, TWS is activating here. This is really important because uh, see, I have uh, taught you everything in the course, but this is the first time I'm showing you the practical applications of what I have told you inside the course. So guys, this trade we will take. Who will tell me why I'm going to take this trade? Or whether the trade will be on buy side or sell side? Tell me everyone. I will feel a bit happy. <laughs> if someone say uh, the name of a strategy. Trend line breakout method. See, trend line breakout method, we got 120 pips. Trend line breakout method, we will again place uh, one is to 1.5 or one is to uh, two. But I think one is to 1.5 is better. What else? What else? Nitin, go ahead. You tell me. Bullish engulfing. Okay. What else? Trend line breakout method. Yes. Sun Bharti, very good. Okay, guys. So there are two things. Other than that, there is third thing as well, which is I'm going to tell you first time. I think I told you, but not most of you know it. Okay, guys. So I'm going to place my buy order. Everyone be ready for the buy order. The price is closed here. Okay. And I'm seeing a bit of selling pressure coming in, yet I will enter because my risk is very small in this trade. So the lowest low of these two candles, okay? The lowest low of these two candles, this one, I'll keep two, three pips below, okay? And I'll set my risk to reward ratio as one is to 1.5. I can set one is to 1.2 as well, but let's go for the safer side, okay? Just let me know in the comment section if you are liking this webinar so that I feel motivated. Guys, bam, TP is hit, TP is hit. Uh, just tell me one thing, how many of you have seen me looking at uh, Three Bull News business channel? Am I looking at any of the Three Bull News or business channel? I'm telling you guys, uh, just master technical analysis. You do not even need to know the news. The news confuses you, you tell me my person are sitting in the board of directors of a news agency. Will I ever show anything bad about my company's stock? Will I ever tell normal people anything that can make money for the normal people? I am doing trading. Trading is a zero sum game for normal people to win. I have to lose my money. And I am, I am the one who controls the news channel. My millions of dollars of bribe goes to them to talk lie to talk the total opposite of what will happen in the price action. I am manipulating people and fooling people because it's a zero sum game. Never ever look at news channels, never ever. If you do that, you will always be so confused and you will, you will quit on trading. 
anyways my purpose with all of you is that if you all of you succeed in life financially so i will feel that uh, i have really done something for you guys i will be very very happy with that helena have you added the 280 pips of the recent trade shall we proceed let's see more strategies okay let's go ahead guys let's go ahead let me see what more is working here okay okay one more trade is forming but i suggest you guys don't take this trade and we are not going to um we are not going to count this trade so guys this is the high of uh, this big candle right just a second mark the support area this can act as my support area i just don't want you guys to take this trade fake breakout one is to one risk to reward ratio now i will also surpass this trade the reason being the risk to reward ratio is very poor you see just 0.64 with the fake breakout strategy should we go with this trade no we have to pass this trade okay just let's move forward so fake breakout we will skip this trade i did not like this trade at all also there may be many factors i have to see whether this was really a resistance area also guys this does not seems to be a proper resistance area so totally we will surpass this trade okay let's move forward and i am also going to share one of my knowledge with you which is uh, brand new start counting the price rejection below this sr 1768 first price rejection second price rejection third price rejection fourth price rejection fifth price rejections guys five prc with two prc with two prc i take a trade imagine five prc will i take a buy trade 100% yes and where i will keep my sl below the lowest low so this is the lowest low just below it so let me enter this trade long position and when i will take this trade i'll tell you every single thing just mark the consolidation area let's change the color to orange so this is the consolidation area right we have to wait for the consolidation area to break we have multiple 1 2 3 4 5 price rejection below the consolidation area let's enter the long position as soon as the green candle closes itself this is the lowest low just one or two pips below the lowest low okay and since gold is in a uptrend on a higher time frame let me keep the risk to reward ratio as 1.5 it may hit 1.2 but i will keep 1.5 okay the reason being we will face a resistance here you see price test rejected price test rejected breakout price close up of the breakout candle two breakout this is a two breakout candle another buy trade can be taken here anyways anyways we are not talking about this trade for now we have taken a buy trade let me write down the reason why i have taken the buy trade 5 prc and i am someone who enters the trade with a 2 prc like this one also but i am not counting that 5 prc plus range breakout method plus institutional buying scene c okay plus strong bullish candle and engulfing engulfing 1 2 3 4 5 6 Engulfing previous six candles, previous six candles. Okay, let's go, let's go, guys. So the trade is still going on. We have not yet hit RSL, and we have not uh, yet uh, touched our TP. But if you keep this risk to reward ratio as one is to one, so this trade is also a win. But let's assume it as a one point five risk to reward ratio because. we traded based on price action and uh, tws strategies and future is not in our control we can only predict it we cannot control it okay it's in control of top 10 institutions not in our control so let the trade go on now uh, whether it hits uh, the sl or whether it hits the tp if you are a conservative uh, trader what you can do is that 
you can start uh, trailing your SL. Just a second. You can start trailing your SL once the price shows the breakout and then a true breakout, which is also one of our TWS style of entering the breakout. Then you can trail your SL. Then you can trail your SL to the low. Now it has become a risk free trade. You can see. Now you can let this trade going on. It has become a risk free trade. Or if you are a conservative trader, just trail your SL. For example, this is a two breakout candle. So you can move your SL here. So we are like uh, running, I think 17, 78 to 1782, 40 pips of profit, but there are some manipulating brokers if you bring it here. And if the candle has made a low of 1783.450, uh, they are weak. They are will make sure that your trailing get hits. They will, will make sure that your trailing gets hit. Anyways, this trade is going on guys, okay?